Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Kiwi. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to build an efficient and compact house. Good for your first nights of survival as it will cover all your basic needs of storage, sleep, food, cooking, crafting and includes room for you to expand and build in the future. It doesn't require too many resources to make and we'll be making sure that the design looks decent so it's still nice to look at. Greetings the design, however, the people important. out there looking at YouTube and this video and everybody else. Hi, I'm Stealth Right. What you see before you is a map. It is a map of this place. This place known as the Ender Pearl Castle. That's right, the Ender Pearl Castle. Starts by making a three by three hole. These guys right here don't like it. Now fill it up with some wooden planks. You know why I don't like it one bit? each corner, make a I don't know why they don't like it one bit. I think it's fabulous. I think it's fantastic. But that's them, the Enderman. You see by the clock on the wall, it's getting the sun down. At the top of each wooden column, make a row what of... What we're going to be doing is playing a little bit of Lucky Blocks. Since Lucky Blocks are the then total inspiration as to why this place exists anyway. So. At the front of your house and the side, extend one of the floorboards in the middle. Uh oh. Then with cobblestone, we're going to make I took our a wrong wall, turn. keeping sure not to block off we're where in our the doors and windows will go. Lucky blocks in the nether? Okay, maybe one. Watch carefully to ensure where to leave Let's the gaps in the cobblestone wall. Good thing uh, I got allies here. Iron the golems. Block gaps, place down a fence post. Two block gaps, place in a door. Now we're going to make Crunch. a small farm on the side of our house's left side. Door. Go get him, guys. Aw. Ooh, nice fire. Netherrack fire. Top. Repeat this pattern all the way around. The first lucky block placed in the nether. Your farm within the fenced off area, leaving a hole in the middle where our This is going to be fun and interesting. Ooh, it's dark. Whoa, what is this? What have we here? Now we're going to give our house some depth to its design. It's a bunch of spiders stacked on top of and slabs. zombies, the will go at and they the have a bunch of stone swords. Up against the cobble. Hey, uh, golems, over this way. Let's see the two nether portals. The next lucky block. Here is the important part, the furniture layout. Follow along carefully what is that? with what I do here. Golden apples. All right. Lucky blocks in the nether. I've never thought about that. TNT above their heads. What's going to happen? Ooh, boom. Wow. And here comes the lava. Gotta go. Did I get, did I, gold nugget? Okay. Oh, should I? I should. With the furniture layout that. I've presented, that you have room to expand downwards Come by here. making a trapdoor located in this position. So if yeah. you want to branch off into more rooms, you will have that possibility no. awaiting you. That's too I high. also put down a carpet to Get make the house feel a bit more roomy. That nether portal looks so tempting. Okay, now the next lucky block the in the nether. Begin with some upside down stairs at each top you corner make of the me house break like my sword. So. What is this? Whoa, that's so close. That should have been... Wow. They're going to lavify me in the nether. And I don't have a big ass. On with the roof, How do I get out of this? Follow along with these placements of slabs oh, and look. planks. Fly this mode. could get a little tricky, so watch closely for this part. Because it's creative mode. Well, don't that look special. Replicate that design on the other side as well, ensuring both sides are exactly the same. Okay. That was nice. An unlucky block. 
again, follow along carefully with these next wooden slab placements. Should be playing this in survival mode, but why bad? The next lucky block exploded, and here Do comes this more exactly lava. The same on the other side of the roof as well. Okay, we're out of here. We're out of the nether, and look at those creepers. What's up there, Mr. Golem? Now you're all done. You have your own compact house that will get you started nicely in survival. It's got all the bare necessities, and most importantly, all right. you'll be happy We're to return home to see a nice, cute little hut that looks pleasant. From this point on, there are many things you can do to add to it and personalize it to make it feel like home. The choice is all yours, including the choice to expand downwards and create a whole new room that could look after another player, or serve it in a bunch of anvils. You can even add more rooms. There are endless possibilities, so go ahead and play around with that if you wish. A big thanks to one of my team members, Yoga Boy, for the design and of the house. And the next lucky will block. be in the description for his channel if you wish to go check out his stuff. If you enjoyed the video, I'd be grateful if you could drop a rating on it. Great as it can help others not? like yourself find this video easier. And spend their first nights in there survival happily. Go. Thanks for watching as always, guys. Till next time. Goodbye. <laughs> Repair and rename lucky block. That's neat. lagging a little bit. You clicked on this video. That means you're awesome. Now if you want to make me awesome, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up as likes are greatly Diamond sword. So today, guys, we're going to take a look at the five simple starter houses of Minecraft. Now this isn't just the five simple starter houses of Minecraft. It's the five simple, like, hey Bob, what's up, Bob? Simple, like, the five simple starter houses in Minecraft. Give me that diamond. Give me that awesome, diamond gear. Give me that. Give me that. You don't need that. So Zombies shouldn't be that decked out. Where'd you go, Bob? Uh, Come here. Quick tutorial on how to build uh, them. So, in the face, here, Bob. You guys are all having a fantastic in your face, so Bob. Five starter houses in Minecraft. First up, we Another one in your face, Bob. House. Look at this house. I miss Bob. Okay. Come on. Look at me. Look. Say, say cheese. Okay. Back of the head. Absolutely beautiful. And it's a desert house. I don't see people creating desert houses. It's a lot of arrows you're taking, so Bob. Really unique and really cool. And I loved, I loved adding this into the list. So let's go to take a look at a tutorial on how to build this thing. Now these tutorials that we're going to do are very, very quick. If you guys get lost or anything like that, one thing I would suggest doing is number one, where you going, Bob? It a little bit, or number two, get back here. Slowing the video down. Ah. I'm sure you guys know how to do that. You can slow the video down or speed it up. Possibly slow it down a lot. It would probably probably help you if you're trying to build this house while watching the video. Or if that's not enough, there's also links to right, tutorials coming in back. the description that are longer. Here, why don't I do this? 20 minute tutorials on how to build these houses. Okay, Bob, you need to let go of that armor, Bob. Ooh, what hit you? Already. You're healing. And I think we're about to You're healing, huh? You drinking house, potion there, Bob? Because you can't actually do floating carpet within a house. So what I did is, if you saw... It's Bob, the random runner. So that's kind of how I Get over here. Below, which is pretty cool. and Thank the you for the armor. So you can see... With the you grass, don't need it. Zombies should not have made, diamond gear. Oh look, the creeper wants to hang know, out beneath really, the really lucky nice. blocks. Then, here you're gonna see in a second. Wait for it. There you go. We are using string right now to oh, make I missed. the uh, to make the carpet on the side. I'm because, laggy. Um, if you didn't use the grass or the string or anything like that, then the carpet would not be held up, and it just. I don't know, it just, it just wouldn't be there. So I think we're about to do the interior. Actually, we're going to do one more thing. We're going to do the windows of the house. I didn't want to do normal glass windows on a desert Golden house. Apples. I just feel like that would look weird. So I kind of made them with staircases and slabs. I figured it looked pretty cool. So here we have the interior of the house. Pretty simple. Now, the interior, I did not try. Lucky hard potion. Interior. I'll go ahead and finish off these blocks here. Of course you can. But here we have And go ahead and call house. it. Would you look at this house? Just... Just look at it, open your eyes, TNT, and look at this TNT what? What is that? Gorgeous. TNT and zombies. Has only a few and they blew up my lucky great. blocks. Now, of course you don't have to use these exact that was not cool. I have one lucky block left. Of course tree. I can plant more, but I was just going to do those. Same, uh, plant more, place more. Really whatever 
wood, so you're both. But right now we're making the bottom of the house, which was really simple and easy to make. That does not sound inviting. It's not super roomy. It's dark. Oh, a bunch of creepers and spiders and such. Wow, look at that. Mayhemic mess. I mean, really. Spiders and skellies and spiders and zombies. Creepers and wow, he's just standing there. What's going on, Iron Golem? Yeah, now he's beating up something. He just beat up the spider. And he just stomped that zombie. Now he's just. What are they backing down? Creeper just walks up to him. Oh, you're looking at me now, Creeper? Oh, yeah, he turned and ran. Yeah, good job. Okay. It's getting laggy here. It's never a good thing. Okay, one more. It's Bob again. Bob, go ahead and run around. I may take the elevator up, I may not. I may call it right here. Which just appeared. You know, I didn't get any diamonds or gold blocks or nothing. I think I'm going to do that first. I want to see diamonds and stuff fall. Do I get diamonds? There's got to be something better about it, that lucky block. Yeah, that's good. Just blow everything up. That's a boom block. Unlucky boom block. Another one. Wow, good thing it's not survival mode here. That's two for two. Yeah, good enough. Golden apples, yay. Got some diamonds, more gold maybe. Something. TNT. It's a TNT zombie. Really special. Wow. Yeah, Clang, Anvil City. Unlucky. Unlucky again. Ba -ba -ba. Soon to be an obsidian generator right there. So it's lucky that I wasn't burned and it's lucky that I could be used for something else. So that's a double lucky block. Dreamer. Bob again. Bob, you're not so lucky. So what, you're wearing diamond armor. Another TNT, it's gonna boom. Nice, another crater. Another TNT. 
getting this house would actually Boom. benefit you. Building this house would actually benefit you if you're in survival mode, because getting all these quartz would give you a ton of extra. Broke that diamond sword. You know? Uh, so, you don't necessarily have to use all these One swing. Uh, you can use cobblestone or anything like that. Man, look at all those mobs. You can use whatever you desire. Wood, cobblestone, you name it. But I just believe the quartz and the stone bricks look really good and make this house uh, like a really nice mob touch. So it's super Boom. simple to make, guys. It's house is just so easy, I could not stress enough. Um, we also have, like, redstone lamps. I believe I'm about to do that. Yeah, there we go. Redstone lamps under the glass windows, which is pretty cool. Then we put some leaves right in front of it. So it kind of covers the house and puts a nice addition to nice. the house. Right now, we're finishing up the walls of the house, and we're putting redstone lamps under all of the windows, which is really cool. And really like that the house without taking up any room since they are in the ground. So then we have leaves going around the house. Looks like a lucky potion. Right Bob. Like, I don't know. I just think it looks really, really Gold good. armor. Uh, golden apples. Darkness. Probably more mobs. Indeed. I'm just going to start swinging wildly. Another Bob. More apples. More darkness, which means more mobs. So if this was too quick to you, because I tried to aim for this video to be about 10 minutes, somewhere around 10 minutes, and we did hit that goal, which is awesome. But if this video was like too quick for you, like the tutorials were too quick, one thing that I would recommend is number one, rewinding it, of course. And golden it apples. Quick, More golden down, apples. You can't do that for some of you guys that didn't know. I mean, there's, there's some of you guys out there that probably didn't know that. But if, if you didn't know that, you can slow down the video, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's over by the quality options. And number three, if that's not enough, then there is tutorial links in the description to other videos that have longer, more detailed tutorials that are like 15 to 20 minutes, which is pretty sweet. So, if you guys have any questions... Wow, get out of the way, Mob. Below. Also, let me know which Move. one was your favorite. Honestly, me, I'm going to go with the Desert House. Honestly, the Desert House was my favorite. But without further ado, guys, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys haven't, go ahead and click that subscribe button to be notified when my next topic Thank you guys again so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later in another Minecraft video. Wow, turn down the sensitivity perhaps, Huh. All right, last lucky block. TNT. Bye, spider. Bye, creeper. Boom. All right. Well, that there was a lot of fun. Sort of, kind of. We'll see other lucky blocks in the future.